Um, so this got posted to the Dick Show. And um, it's just the video that we listened to where he threatens to kill her and says, you ain't, you're going to clean my desk and I'm going to put hands on you and you ain't going to do shit, bitch. It's that shit. And people listen to this and they say, I agree with Dick Love. Like, for instance, I agree with Dick Love about a lot of things. But no one agrees with him about this fat Burger King looking motherfucker. No idea what he's holding on to it so much. Unless he just likes having front row tickets to the train wreck. Uh, East Negotiation replies saying, maybe Dick isn't a good person. And he says, Dick has explained multiple times that every time he does, his explanation never has an explanation. His own, like his audience, his his Reddit is slowly becoming one. There are so many Reddits of like lol cows, like Juju, who are like, they started out as like fan Reddits. And then over time, they just became more and more hostile towards the person. Like, I think the Boogie one was like that. There's several Reddits that were, in, like, the Opie and Anthony one, too, were, like, originally they were, like, a, a fan club on Reddit for that person. And then over time, they just, like, all the fans left and all the A-logs stayed. And that's happening to Juju, too. Um, Chuck says he sounds like he's on the verge of tears. What a disaster. Feel bad for that baby. If Ralph was as funny as Dick thinks he is, this would be fine. Which is a funny comment. The baby crying in the background sends me over the edge. What a filthy trash human he is. Jibo says, this is a lot worse than Crowder stuff, and that was also abuse. Um, Always hated Ralph. This is not a surprise. White... Gilent3 says, it's rather dumb to expect Dick to disavow his friendship with Ethan. He's made it very clear over the years. He doesn't care what you do. It's said with with the unsaid caveat, obviously, as long as you're in his good graces and not coming after him, in which all that stuff is back on the table, in which I mean is fair. Um, so that's a good point. It appears that Dick, again, he's fine with this. He didn't say anything about it. He just said, what do you expect? It's Ethan Ralph. He's a piece of shit. Basically, that's what he says. Like, what do you expect from Ethan Ralph? He's a piece of shit. So I'm going to, I have decided, I've made an, an executive decision that I'm going to subject you all to five minutes of Ethan Ralph and Dick Masterson having a conversation. Um, well, let me read these first. Uh, Ralph does something Reddit. Dick needs to disavow Ralph for this. So on. He's complaining. It's happening again. Um, Adam Sandler says they're going to laugh at you. Except Vito's a pedophile. He's just coping about this shit. Oh, yeah. Let's see what he says about me. He loves me. He reads my post. He says, Josh, I need you, buddy. Dick says, no jokes while we're just laughing at line. Okay, so people were asking for Vito to get a threat. So my, um, my compromise for this is that I was going to allow a thread for Vito. However, um, I... Uh, <laughs> So I'm a very, I, I like to, I like to consider myself very pragmatic. So in the site, the forum is, is a very weird place and I'm often subjected to, um, strange situations where just making fun of somebody is not the best thing to do for various reasons. Right? So I'll give you an example for this. There's a diaper fur and he would repeatedly, he had a humiliation fetish, which if you don't know, humiliation fetishes are the worst kind of people on the fucking planet. They are barely human. And this humiliation fetishist would send me pictures of him naked in a diaper, holding up his birth certificate and photo ID next to his face in a diaper in like a full body shot. And he would send me this to me directly in my email. And what he expected is that I would post this information on the forum and everyone would be like, ew, what a freak. Oh, he's so oogly. And that, of course, would just like get him off and he would continue to harass me by email with random pictures of him in a diaper and shit. So what I did for his thread is I just put it under his real name, uh, all of the different, his different ID. I posted all the docs that he sent me and all the pictures of him. Uh, that weren't like repeats. So if I got new, like a new photo ID or something, I would post that, but I wouldn't allow him to continue to send me the same shit over and over again, a million different ways. And I just put that in the thread and I said, no commentary locked. And it's been that way for years and it worked. He eventually stopped sending me his photo ID. Cause now you have this thread that's just him in a diaper holding his photo ID. And it's not funny. It's not arousing to him. People can watch it. People can look at it, but nothing needs to be said. He's a humiliation fetish and he gets off on being humiliated. So really that's about all there is to him. 
and it serves the site better to have the discussion locked, even though that seems kind of antithetical to the forum, um, because it would been it would literally uh, like jerk off this weirdo if I just allowed people to say what was obviously to be said about him. Vito is the same way. Vito is an attention whore, so he wants attention. So the way to handle a veto is to take veto, and I, I think this is my my theory is to take veto and just make a montage of his best hits. Take every tweet, provide archives, provide screenshots, and just caption it. Vito admitting to being a pedophile. Vito making jokes about raping kids. Vito doing this. Vito doing that. Uh, Vito canceling people and just do that. Here's what he said. Here's an archive of it so you can make sure it's real, and do that for an entire page. And then ask people at the end, I'm going to make them in. It's like, if you're going to say something to, to, um, if you're going to post, I'm going to ask that you rein your emotions in. You don't threaten him. You don't give this guy any reason whatsoever to go on Twitter and cry about us. Everything should just be matter of fact. Just try your best to be suit and tie niggas about this, this threat. And you're right. It's not funny. It's not funny to do that way. I would love it if I could just make fun of Dick and Beto. However, Dick is literally on the other side, like jerking off about the fact that he got a, like a thousand dollars extra this month for Patreon because of his his drama with Eric July. So I'm assuming that what happened is, is a couple people that forgot about the Dick Show and unsub, resub because they heard about him again. Oh, this is funny. Um, so he's actively trying to profit off being a gross pedophile attention whore on Twitter. And therefore I'm going to deny him as much of that gratification as humanly possible. So Dick complains about this. Uh, this post is basically just a summary of what I just said. And Dick says, no jokes while we're just laughing online. And then he says, I think it's Josh's time to be sacrificed for the corn harvest. And he says, no, no, no jokes. So... I guess he's upset. He's upset because, again, I have I've see through what he wants. I'm not going to allow him to use Vito as a shield. I'm going to talk about the fact that he dressed as a cow and got fucked in the ass by a woman that he failed to set up a threesome with who ruined his life while he was baiting, stringing 80 girls along for, for a decade uh, as a trophy so that he could say he won against Dick and ruined her for fertile years uh, for no reason other than to uh, ingratiate himself, which is just disgusting. So I'm going to continue to make fun of him that way. And with Vito, if we're going to make a threat on him, it's going to be concise. It's going to be so that when people find out about him and look him up, they have all the things that they need to see. And it won't be funny, but you made me do it. You made me do it. The joke is, is that you're not laughing. Try to You try to make yourself out to be a funny boy comedian and you just never fucking laugh again. That'll be the joke. Um... So here is five minutes of torment, and I'm going to make it longer by commenting on it. Dick Masterson joins the kill stream to talk about my recent um, controversy, his refusal to disavow, and how they always seem to accompany appearances by him on my show, LOL. Who would you consider the Michael Jordan of husbands? First off, thank you for coming on the show. We didn't get to that because we were yeah, kind of sure. in the nose. I appreciate that. I, I realized that... Uh, I've had a couple things going on, I guess you could say. Uh, and you know uh, what? You gotta stop. You gotta stop asking me to come on because then the next day something horrible so always happens to you. It's literally <laughs> it's true. Like, by oh, the way. Okay. <laughs> okay. So point one, it is interesting how Dick doesn't make constant appearances on the kill stream, but when it happens, it's always at a time where Ralph has a serious fucking issue almost immediately following it. And there's actually a really good reason for why that is the case. And I think the reason why Dick's appearance coincides so perfectly with like huge problems in, in, uh, in Ralph's life is that he is like a security blanket for Ralph. Whenever Ralph feels insecure about decisions he's making or his lifestyle choices or some shit like that, he brings Dick on and Dick is always there as like a yes man to be like, nah, fuck them. You're do, you do you, you know how you are, so on and so forth, you're killing it, everyone loves you, so on. He's just there for, like, pure affirmation, unchallenging, unblinking, like, allyship. And that, that's why when Dick is, when Ralph is, like, feeling threatened, he brings Dick on. Dick is like a hype man. He hypes him up, and then he leaves. And then Ralph, after getting his ego inflated, is uh, more willing to do stupid shit, which is what, which is what Dick is doing. He knows this. 
That's why he stays friends with with Ralph so that he can farm him for content for his show. And Ralph, unfortunately for him at least, feels that that is a genuine friendship, and it's not. It's literally true. <laughs> Uh, and we had to, like I was trying to get him on for a couple weeks, and uh, you know, one day I think I missed or whatever. I was fucked up or whatever happened. I forgot now. Uh, and yeah. so, um, but it was a couple days ago, uh, two or three days ago. And I was like, yeah, okay. He's like, Thursday will be good. And I was like, all right, let's do Thursday. And then uh, disaster stri strikes, uh, and they're like, <laughs> you know, Reddit's like, you can't come on the show and disavow Ralph. And oh my God, and what the fucking uh, just. Like just <laughs> insanity. Um, so every time now, I do like, thank you. Guys, got to realize that one one of these times, you guys got to realize that I don't fucking care. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys like can't understand that, but maybe one day you'll have friends. Maybe one day a woman will secretly record you and you will understand. How you... I love this because they both do that thing where they like act like, oh, Dick is saying something that's kind of like cruel and not really funny. But then they both go, ack, 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 ack. and then it's like, oh, that, that like spins it around. It's not just cruelty for the sake of it. It's just sort of it's a joke now. It's funny. It's funny because people are laughing. It's like a laugh track in a studio in a, in a fake studio uh, like um uh, what's what's the the Bazinga show, the the Big Bang? It's like the Big Bang soundtrack. It's like our laugh track. It's like something not funny happens, but we act, 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 so therefore it's funny. The other thing is that um, I love the statement. Maybe a woman will secretly record you, and then you'll know how that feels. So that's either him saying a woman has recorded him. I mean, that's, uh, that feels like an admission. There's a woman out there who is definitely black. Maybe it's 80s girl. <laughs> 80 girl says you stole my youth um you are going to pay me you know x amount of dollars to continue to be your trophy wife i'm gonna go fuck other men i'm gonna go live somewhere else and you're just gonna fund my lifestyle forever because i have you on audio and i can get you put in fucking jail and that's just their arrangement or he's salty about um uh, jamie love hewitt or whatever talking about how he's Juju the Count and he gets fucked in the ass. So now he's salty about that. He hates women even more. It's like, oh, a woman, a woman outed you as being an abuser? I know how that feels, buddy. Welcome to the club, friend. I know, uh, trust me, one day they're going to get recorded by a woman and they're going to regret it. Let's continue. <laughs> All these things that have happened and that confused you for so long. Uh... That is correct, Whatever. and uh, you know it is what it is, right? It's obviously a nasty situation, but um, you know I appreciate it, and I know I mean that's just not the type of guy you are anyway, right? Like oh, some yeah, I'm gonna disavow this guy. I remember somebody else trying to get you to disavow uh, back in the day. I won't uh, name any names or anything, but uh, that went about as well as you'd expect. Uh, and so, <laughs> right? And uh, and you said on Twitter, Ralph never claimed to be the Michael Jordan of husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, well, oh, you rip on Eric. Like, comics. Like, you're not talking about this video of Ralph. Like, well, you know. <laughs> I died laughing at that. I was dying. Well, uh, Eric, Eric says his comic is good. <laughs> Ralph, <laughs> I've never heard Ralph say like, yeah, I'm a good. Boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Husband of the year, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My husband skills are winning the culture war. Yeah, you never heard me say anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be a great husband, Ethan Ralph. Picture of Ralph holding his book on how to be a great husband. It makes the woke people so mad. Pronouns <laughs> <laughs> not in my house. Not at my house, whore. We don't do that around here. Oh, how dare you know what? Fuck Starfield, whatever the fuck the name of the game is. Uh, I don't, people don't get it like crowder is like crowder is a great example because every day he's like oh yeah you got to do this or you're gonna like you have a good life if you do these things and you got to get married right away like you got to do these things with god and then it's like behind the scenes like a you fucking asshole it's like yeah that's funny that's why it's funny 
<laughs> I'm gonna let this play through. I have no commentary. Hey, Your suffering hey, is my commentary. Being one way and then being the same way in private <laughs> is not funny. <laughs> Where's my video? I can't even pause this. Someone in chat said, <laughs> I'm just, like, Where is it? It scrolled away so fast and said, ha, 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 I beat women when I'm drunk. <laughs> oh, dude, I, I just fucking died. Remember that guy that did the sex thing? Yeah. Did it again. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> that no makes way. him laugh, but he has to backtrack oh, wow. it. Did he have a mustache or something that some, that everyone was duped that he wouldn't do it? Oh no, just normal. Well, you know. Uh, <laughs> By the way, seven times. I want to say I didn't do that, but um, you know, yeah. Oh the, yeah, yeah. I'm not there, just speaking extemporaneously. Yes, there was a there was a sex tape though. At one point, it exists though, on the internet for sure. That did uh, that did occur. Um, yeah. But um, yeah. Eric July. Uh, you got to read my best. book on how to be sober. <laughs> There's no more of this. I thought this was over. I was hoping it would be You're over. You're the Michael Jordan of sobriety. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what? I'll get the word out. I'll make sure and let everyone know that Ralph's a real evil bastard. Not to, not to mess around. Definitely don't suck his dick or anything like that. Don't worry, guys. I got it. I'll write. I'll light the fucking torches of Gondor, so everybody, know, all women, know. Don't fuck that Ralph guy. He's a real fucking piece of work. Take it from me, the world's biggest misogynist. That's the closest thing to an actual joke. That's us. That he That's says. Not, some on Twitter is like, a, it's not exactly known for being very pro woman. <laughs> what, what, what are they expecting in the first place? On a secret recording, I don't know. you know, that was released. Like, no, okay, I'm, yeah, I'm the sure right he's going to come it. out and fucking, you know, go ape right shit over that. Like, oh, man. Uh, yeah, give, give me the breakdown, like the whole tit for tat, guys. I'm here, like a fucking football game. <laughs> okay. People said they muted, so I'll give them a second. Do. Do, 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 do. Okay, now that you've unmuted your, your screen. Um, gosh, there was two things I want to say. But first, uh, Dick sounds angry in this. You know what I mean? He doesn't sound like he's in on the joke. He sounds like he's actually genuinely upset that people, uh, once again, once again, people are trying to hold me accountable for my associations, and this is unfair because I am simply an L.A.-based comedian who has no heart or soul or brain, and I am not capable of higher functions or thoughts whatsoever. I simply look for the nearest drugs and, and sex vessel to put my penis into and get high while having sex with, and I look for avenues of making money with the least effort possible, and that's it. You can't really expect anything more of me than that. And I'm so I'm so upset that once again, even my own audience doesn't understand that I am but a mere flesh, uh, flesh vessel for for hedonistic pleasure and drugs and money. And that's him. That's he's upset. Then the other one is that, and, and I'm not even being joking. This is going to sound like I'm I'm just making shit up so that um. I uh I can be more spiteful, and I'm being a hundred percent serious here. When um. When Dick left the biggest problem in the universe with Maddox, uh, and um, sorry, I'm trying to find it actually in real time. Now, if you search the biggest problem in the universe, you just get the unfunny reboot with fucking Vita, which apparently has had 105 episodes, and I've never heard anything about it. Um. But when Dick, when Maddox was doing the, the show on his own, he had to fill in for Dick and Sean with like his own ensemble of unfunny LA people. And uh, it was like an audio visual hell with um, actually listening to it. I wish I could remember. Did, what was Maddox's show called? Uh, uh, he renamed it too. It's uh he renamed it to something like the the best show in the universe or something. I can't even I really honestly I can't even remember the name of it. But it was like 
it was this thing where he would bring on all these LA retards, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. They're like LA soy boys, and they would talk about stuff, and they would all act like it was the funniest shit ever. Anytime anybody said anything, over and over and over again, and it was not funny. And Dick even had a thing. I remember Dick saying this when, because it was a really obvious trait with uh, Maddox's podcast after the Dick show that he has a rule of like, he said when he was on the biggest problem in the universe that he had a show, the best debate, the biggest debate. Okay, hold up. He had a rule. He said um, that he never laughed at his own jokes because they should be funny that when people, uh, Listen, they should be laughing and you don't have to laugh at your own joke. That was something that really annoyed him about LA podcasters, he said. And yet, new dick, modern dick, soy dick is like the exact opposite. He continually laugh, breaks his own rule and laughs at his own shitty jokes. Okay, hold up. I want to see if I can just randomly pull Today's this up. Episode. And uh, final episode, what's the most perfect thing about Maddox? The best debate in the universe with Maddox. Okay, this is exactly what I want. Let me see if I can just plop this down at a random timestamp and show you exactly what I mean and inflict more suffering on you. I have two fucking podcasts. Well, two podcasts as of um, still today and... <laughs> Oh, you might be saved. If it's going to boofer, I might not be able to show you the Maddox laugh. Care that much about ads so that people, but no, and solve dollars. Not on make it because the hot 20. Oh, I remember, I remember um, the last episode with um, Maddox was ruined because um, Rekka Rekka Ali kept pushing. Uh, no, it wasn't him. bullshit. <laughs> it wasn't bullshit. Hot 25 year old. She was super cool. She, she was super cool. Uh, until she wasn't. Um, <laughs> But uh, anyway, so, dude, I mean, like every time there's like they can't allow a pause or like an actual joke. They just have to fill it in with. There's actually less laughing and less than um. With, I, because he was like like this wall and like a year like oh, the a market stolen phone. So this, phone this is, so, this is bound, a woman's talking. This is bound to be uh, a hee hee ha ha. Come on. So I had a friend one time who oh, we sorry, just went to Compton. Had, here we go. <laughs> like part of the here reason I the part anecdote. of the reason I say I had a friend and I don't say their name is because I try to keep them anonymous. I don't want to just like out people who are a uh, good friend. I mean, we've, yeah. Oh, here we go. We're not doing the wedding it. Line. They're literally doing it less than Check my shoulder. Guns, where every um, single and, line has to be a joke, and it's fucking Maddox in the show. And that was the thing I remember the most about this. I can't even believe it, Chad. I can't even fucking believe it. I can't even demonstrate to you, but. Because he does it, he does it, he does it more than Maddox now. It's, uh, it's, 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 I'm going to be honest, it's gratifying to see someone, like, slip away into, like, this debauchery and being their own worst nightmare. Uh, when you told them that, that's what would happen if they would associate with fucking pedophiles and shit. And uh, to this day, he still stamps his feet and says, no, you got it wrong. You're not being funny enough. You don't understand, Josh. The cosmic irony of someone self-imploding after you told them so is not funny. It's not a joke. It's actually irony. It's not a joke. Well, jokes are when things that make you go ak -ak 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 after you say them. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy boy. Um. Anyways. Sorry that I couldn't show you the Maddox laugh. It, it's it's really obnoxious when it's all going and they're all they're all trying because they're all trying to show how funny they are. Like all the funny boys from LA trying to start the, kickstart their comedy career, their own podcast. They're all trying to show that they're the funniest person in the room. So they're all talking over each other and they all make this like shitty take turns making shitty jokes and they all go ak -ak 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 -ak. and it's like a cycle. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.